Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so glad to be bringing you God's truth. Now, this is a new week. And hey, this is the last week of the month of October. Hey, and God says in this month, He is remembering you. Now, I don't know how the month has been, but I tell you one thing. You still have one week to bring for the miracle. Praise God. You know, you see... Uh, let's just call for that daily bread. No, there's, there's just a lot in my spirit that I want to share with you. But let's do the first thing first, like the Lord commanded us to do. Are you ready? Say with me now. Say, Father, I demand and I receive my daily bread. It's coming now in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, praise God. Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we just honor your name this morning. Thank you for the blessedness of your word and the supply of your spirit. Holy Spirit, you will not hold back any good thing that will be for our benefit today. Thank you for utterance. And I declare burdens are being lifted even right now. Yokes are being destroyed by the power of your spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. You know, I was telling you something earlier. You've got one week to the end of the month of October. Now, it is in your place to decide if you're going to see the goodness of God or you will just be there whatever happens you know you know people have this mentality whatever will be will be i don't want to stress myself hey listen to me there is a stress that you need to stress yourself so that you don't stress yourself indeed see just like jesus said seek ye first the kingdom of god and when you do that you will go seeking other things they will be added to you paul also tells us in hebrew he says labor to enter into God's rest. Now think about it. You want to rest, yeah. But he said you've got to labor first to enter that rest. Praise God. He's not saying labor, then when you're tired, you rest. No. He says, do there is a laboring to labor so that you can enter into God's rest. So the way to God's rest. Is labor. There is labor involved. What's he saying? These are deliberate things you do. And, and, and you see, when you believe God's word, God has said, for example, this month, he is remembering you. Now, when you believe him, you count the first week, the second week, the third week. And now you're in the fourth week and you look around your life. You're like, you, you can't place anything that um, looks like God is remembering you. What do I do? Just let the month go. No. You, you need to get in seriously with the Lord and say, Lord, we need to talk. We need to talk. And put it before the Lord. You can declare it fast. I'll never forget many years ago. See, now incidentally, same month of October. The Lord has spoken to me, you know, uh, previous, before the month of October that year. And, and said in October, you're going to start the radio program. And he had told me you know, what to do and all that. But then I was waiting and then we got into the month of October and I was waiting for the Lord to supply the money because we need to pay for airtime. And the first week passed, the second week passed, and then we got into the third week. When we got into the third week, now I knew because the station had told us that they can only give us Sunday. And then he, they said, for us to start on a Sunday, we've got to tidy up the deal by Wednesday. If we don't tidy up the deal by Wednesday, we will not be able to schedule our program for Sunday. So now, 
we got into the third week of October on a Monday. I said, hold on now. <laughs> We've got to do something now because it's looking like this word is going to fail. So I declared a fast, a personal fast now. And I went before the Lord and I was like, Lord, you said in October, we will start the radio program. How come no, there is no sign, nothing even showing that <laughs> we are about to start anything. And then I will never forget on the second day of that fast. It was a three days fast. I told myself in three days, I must sort out this man. You know, that's one thing we do. You, you know, I said in three days. No, 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 no. You know, ah, first week, okay, let me see what the Lord's going to do. He said October, yeah? He said October. That's why you need to hear the voice of God. It will guide you. Second week, hmm. Okay, let's see what's going to happen this second week. If there's still chances that. Third week, I said, ah, hold on. No, no, no. We, we can't sit down waiting anymore. Let me confirm that this thing is still so. Let me confirm that God hasn't changed his mind as though he does change his mind. Praise God. Now, and then I remember that second day of the fast, the word of the Lord came to me. And then he said, go pick up. Now, I remember this was 2007. And, and, and all he said to me, he said, go pick up your 2005 diary and read. Okay, sir. I went, picked up that 2005 diary. Now, that was two years earlier. And I began to read from page to page, reading from page to page. And then I saw one place in the year 2005 where I have written that you will start a radio program. And then I wrote, do the recording first. Then I will open the doors to the station. I went, whoa. Now, I couldn't remember at this time that there was such a word in that diary. I couldn't remember even that God had even spoken to me clearly concerning the radio. Now, this is two years later. I wasn't praying, Father, the radio program. No, 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 no. I was just doing stuff. And then the word of the Lord came to me, says, you are going to start the radio program in October. And I said, okay, sir. Now, actually, I thought I was hearing, you are going to start a radio program. More like that was the first time God was talking to me. I can't remember. I just don't know how. I forgot, forgot that he actually spoke to me. Now, in looking at that statement, I saw that there was an instruction attached to the statement, what he said in 2005. I'm sharing this with you for a reason, because I want you to get a miracle. So, I went, when I saw that, the first thing I did, because I, I, I saw, do the recording first. That was an instruction. You see, when God is speaking to you, always look for the parts that you can do. You are supposed to do something. So, yeah. So, I said, Lord, I haven't done the recording yet. I didn't know I was supposed to do the record. I was waiting for, you know, a miracle money to just come to me. And of course, because I was not going to ask anybody for money. So I was just waiting for a miracle to happen and, and, and let's see what the Lord's going to do. For me. And then the Lord said, do the recording first. That word hits me. So I said, Lord, I repent because I've been doing it the wrong way. I've been waiting for money instead of doing the recording. I said, Lord, I repent for this. I'm going to go now. And, and, and I left that fast. I went to the studio and, and got did the, the, the pilot recording. And when we were done, I went before the Lord. I had to wait until they finished producing everything about it. And I took that CD. I'll never forget. I went before the Lord. And I said, Lord, as long as I know, I have fulfilled the part that I'm supposed to fulfill. Where this radio program instruction is concerned. I have done the recording. Here is the CD. And, and that was the end of my fast. I'm telling you. Now, I planned to fast for three days. But, but I mean, why, why was I fasting? I wanted to know what mind of God is concerning the radio thing. Now, the answer has clearly come. I have obeyed the answer. What am I fasting for again? See? Now, two, two miracles happened. 
after the recording was done because then oh thank you holy spirit we didn't have so many private stations they're very few so so this was the government um, owned station in the fct so when i had gone there to discuss about the radio program and they had told me then that look they only allow um so, uh, motivational talk they don't allow pure preaching as at that moment they didn't allow it so um, except i'm going to tune my message to be more of motivation i said listen i'm teaching god's word <laughs> praise god so so they said well that's they were allowed so even when i went to do the recording I, I, I asked them okay at least i can do the recording is there a law saying i must not i cannot do a, i cannot teach in a studio they said no no i mean you're paying for it so you can go ahead and, and do that so we did the recording. When we were done, I'll never forget the, the person in charge of the studio. He was a Muslim. His name was Suleiman. Not just Suleiman. There are Christians that answer Suleiman. But this was a Muslim. He listened to the message and said, Sir, is this this program that our God said they cannot air here? I said, well. He said, no, sir. Let me take it to him. So he went to the my person in charge and, and and then he said oh the person in charge of marketing here he said look why do you say this program cannot end so you say you know now you know what happened before and then the man said have you listened to it the man said no he said i think you should listen to it a muslim was doing this for me praise god and then he listened to it and he said wow um what do we do then guys say call a guy so i was there with them they called their boss the person in charge of programs, I think. And said, look, we have a, a, a pastor who wants to put up his program on our station. And then the man asked him, I was listening to the conversation. He said, have you listened to it? He said, yes, sir. Do you think it will fly? He said, I think so, sir. The man said, then let it fly. And then he turned and looked at me. Now, now as of that time, I was the only one that was teaching the word of God in that station. Before now, that opened the doors for for many others because they because of us they began to allow um, other churches come in. Now I'm not saying I was the first person to preach on that station. They, according to what I heard, they, they had some issues, so they banned all Christian. Um, I told you it's the government-owned station, so they banned all Christian, um, pure Christian programming in terms of preaching on that station. But but I think that was for like two years or thereabout. But this was the opening of that thing. And the next thing that happened, now we got to the last week. I told you this, this happened on Tuesday in the second week of, uh, of October. So we got to the following week. Nothing had happened. Now we got to the Wednesday. Now they remember I said they told me you've got to pay on Wednesday for us to reschedule, for us to put your program for Sunday. Now we got the last week of October, the Wednesday, that Wednesday was going to be the Wednesday before the last Sunday in October. Meaning, if we don't pay today, Wednesday, we cannot air a program on Sunday. And Sunday was the last Sunday in October. And if we don't air the program on Sunday, it means the word of God has failed where October is concerned. Are you getting what I'm saying? So that day I woke up, I said, Lord, today is the day. We've got to pay today. And I will never forget. It was about 12 noon that day. I received a message, a text message on my phone. And, and, and someone had said, Pastor, I just paid in. Now I think we needed 70,000 naira to start then. And then I got a message and said, Pastor, I just paid in 100,000 into your account. Now that time... We didn't receive um, bank alerts. But I got a text message from the person. I like, and I didn't know who, the, who this person was because it was a strange number. So I tried calling immediately. Number was switched off. I like, uh, who's playing these pranks with me? Who knows I, I'm, I'm seriously needing money today to play this prank. But guess what? I went to the, to the ATM and I realized the money was in my account. Well, I knew what I was believing God for money for. I went, called the station, I've got your money, I withdrew the money, went and paid on that same day, that Wednesday. So our program was scheduled for Sunday. I later found out who sent the money, praise God. And, and guess what he said? He said, God spoke to him on 
Sunday that on Wednesday, he should send me that money. Praise God. Now, this is who God is. I'm sharing this with you because, listen, you can produce a miracle this week. Praise God. Yeah. Oh, Lord, you, you said you're going to remember me this month. I have not seen anything. Declare first. Listen to what the Lord will tell you to do. It's not fasting like when I pray, then God will do something. No, no. When you declare fast, you listen more. So you stir up the spirit and then you listen more. You stir up the spirit and then you listen more. You do more of listening. And then the Lord will speak to you. Why would he speak to you? Because you have shown that you believe. And my time is up. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Listen, seriously, you can produce a miracle. Notice I didn't say expect a miracle. I said produce a miracle. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.